Occasionally you come across new words, words that have meanings that need to be shared so they enter mainstream language. Just such a word is agnotology. This word was coined by one Robert N. Proctor, a specialist in the history of science and technology. Basically, it comes from the Greek word agnosis, or not knowing. Agnotology is the study of culturally induced ignorance. The prime example of this is the deliberate campaign of buy tobacco companies to try to lead people to believe that tobacco products were healthy. Simply by funding studies showing everything else gave you cancer and giving doctors free cigarettes and saying that most doctors preferred this particular brand, they were able to completely muddy the water on the issue of what caused lung cancer. Spoilers, it was tobacco all along. But it's not just tobacco. Every harmful industry from radium paint to asbestos to the mighty fossil fuel industry has been indulging in agnotology in order to maintain the profits and keep them moving along. And it is completely vital for those selling things like quack medicine, stuff that only makes sense if you know nothing. And agnotology is the process of studying why you don't know what you don't know even though the information is out there. Agnotology, use it every day in your everyday conversation it is another word for the ages.